What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, then welcome to my channel. My name is Jackson Desjardins, and I'm here to help you become your best self, whatever version of you that is. Now as most of you know, I've lost about 100 pounds and I help others do the same thing, whether it's through my online courses, whether it's through coaching, but one thing is for sure. There are a lot of things that I find my clients and subscribers doing over and over that are making it so much harder for them to lose the weight and actually start to get cozy in their own skin and like themselves. Not that you can't do that now, but weight loss surely affects your ability to do so. So in this video, I'm going over four reasons why you may still be fat, but also how to fix these problems to get you lean, get you happy, but most importantly, getting you in line with your super self. All right, everybody, number one is going to be stop over analyzing. For the love of God, look, with the abundance of content out there and people calling each other out about giving misinformation, ultimately it gets you very confused and it gets you farther away from where you wanna be because you just start asking so many questions. One day you hear somebody say carbs are bad, the next day you hear somebody say carbs are good, this type of cardio is better, that type of cardio is better. It's so easy and it's so tempting to get into analysis paralysis because you have all this information but you don't have a clear path and we're all chasing optimal, but I like to say on this channel, screw being optimal. You've got to meet yourself where you are and not let the always increasing influx of content and information coming into your realm guide you down the wrong path. And guys, I'll be honest with you. I'll never forget when I lost the weight and then I still didn't have a good relationship with food. I literally had to hire a coach who told me like my macros and my calories and like what to eat. And I was like, dude, I can't be eating carbs. This is not gonna work. I'm not gonna be able to have a good physique and maintain where I'm at and make progress on myself if I eat carbs. There's no way. Haven't you seen all the YouTube videos? And sure enough, I was like, I paid for it. I'm gonna do what he's telling me to do. And I found incredible results because I didn't overcomplicate it. I think a lot of you in the beginning of your weight loss journeys just need simplicity. Will that adapt and change over time depending on your goals? Yes, but most of you need to meet yourself where you are, which means just focus on on eating less and moving more. I know it's not the answer you wanna hear, but it's the answer you need to hear. Now for number two, you are chasing the suck. Now listen, I know you don't mean to do it, but I know that you think that if it doesn't suck, then you're doing something wrong on your weight loss journey. You're like, oh, if I'm not starving, I'm not working hard enough. If my workouts aren't so dreadfully terrible where I'm dead when I go home, I'm not working hard enough. I'm here to tell you that the suck is unsustainable, my friends. The most successful and fit people that I know are the people that actually enjoy the process. A lot of people like going for walks. A lot of people like going surfing. A lot of people like doing circuit training. No one will continue doing what they hate. Eat the way you like, train the way you like because if you don't like it you're probably not going to continue it for very long even the David Goggins is of the world there's something about the process that they enjoy whether it's helping their identity for being a badass there's something about it that they enjoy and I like to say there's really two frames of thought for this you're either chasing a reward or you're running from a punishment I'll speak for myself I will never eat the way that fat Jackson ate back in 2016 and 2017 because I know how unhappy it made me I'm not necessarily chasing the reward of losing more weight, but I'm running from the punishment of becoming that guy again. I never even want to be close to that guy ever again. Therefore, I will never let myself get there. So look, I know the suck is tempting. I know you want to work hard for the sake of working hard, but I got news for you. Life isn't a movie, so don't pretend that it is. All right, guys, keeping it moving. We have got number three, present first future later. I know that sounds redundant, but let me explain. So many of us get into the habit of when we adopt a new routine or a new habit even, we like to fixate on this idea that it's like, okay, since I'm adopting this, this is what I'm doing forever. And you go in that extremes mindset and think, I will never veer from this again. That's what allows us to say, I'll get back on Monday, right? Because you're like, well, on Monday, I'm never going to mess up again. So I might as well have what I want right now. Right? And I know it's so tempting to set those concrete changes and you're like, wow, if I just do this for the rest of my life, I'll get what I want. And it's so tempting. But if you require things to be perfect in order to be on your game, you will always lose because life will smack you in the face. And if you can't roll with the punches, I'm telling you, you're going to lose every single time. Life is constantly changing. Life is constantly adapting. And you saying that you have to work out at the exact same time and do this exact split and everything's got to be perfect. And once one thing goes wrong, you fall off the wagon. You're not going to sustain that. Set the goals that are simple enough for you to follow. We're regardless of what life throws at you. 
All right guys, now for number four and probably the most important one, you don't know yourself. I like to say the shape you keep your body in is often a reflection of just how well you know yourself. And when I say know yourself, like really, like do you understand why you think the thoughts that you think? Do you have an internal identity that governs all the decisions that you make every single day? I encourage you to kind of ask yourself like, why do I think what I think? Why do I do what I do? And how do my thoughts affect my actions? Right, so in times of struggle, identify what's my thought process? What am I thinking? Am I actually hungry? Am I stressed? Am I shameful? Am I bored, right? Why am I going to the pantry right now? Why am I not going and working out right now? Like, am I trying to be in this all or nothing mindset? Am I relying on my future self and saying I'm gonna get back on Monday? These are the things that you have to understand about yourself. And if you don't get that and you don't know your yourself at all, how can you possibly make changes in your life? I want to encourage you to download that free PDF down below. It's called the five fat to fit commandments. It's totally free. It's just something I made to help kickstart your weight loss journey. And it can seriously help a lot of you guys, because these are the five commandments that I preach to every single one of my clients to get them off to the races on their weight loss goals. And if you're looking for accountability and guidance on your journey, I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you're interested in that, check out the link down below in the description. Look guys, I want you to be happy and I want you to like yourself, but the only way you're going to do it is by truly keeping the promises you make to you. Guys, you know I love every single one of you. You are my YouTube family, and I'm gonna leave you like I leave you every single video. Let's keep getting better together, and let's keep on grinding. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.